What is up guys? Welcome back to another trip to the thrift. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button and lets me know. It helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and subscribe if you're not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. So let's go see what we can find this week. So first thing I found walking into the store is this pair of sport blue threes. Um, but just like every pre-owned pair of threes from around this time, they have cracking on the midsole. They're asking $30 for those and they're a size 11 and a half. But as far as like the bottoms go and everything, they're still pretty clean. It's just that cracking. Found two pairs of shoes. We got these vintage pair of Reeboks right here, which I have no idea what they are. Maybe you guys can let me know. But those are 10. And then these uh, Bo Jacksons right here. They want 30, but I, I think everything's half off today. So these would be 15 and these would be five. So if anybody knows what these are, let me know. This has to be one of the cooler Tommy pieces I found in a while. On the back you have Tommy USA Hill figure. USA embroidered up there on the neck. On the right sleeve you got Tommy Hill figure USA. And then on the front you got Tommy Hill figure USA International Games. It's $2.99 but it's half off. You got the stars embroidered up there on the collar. And then down here you got International Games Tommy Hill figure. Definitely one of the cooler Tommy pieces I found in a while. Found this Overwatch Tracer jersey. Uh, Never was really into Overwatch personally, but I guess I figure if you're going to get a jersey, I guess it would be Tracer. Found this Oklahoma State uh, youth jersey. It's a youth medium, $2.99. It's half off, so $1.50. Found a Super Nintendo slash N64 slash GameCube AV cable. It's official too, so that's good uh, for only two bucks. You can never have too many of these. Found this uh, two vintage 2000 Harley Davidson Appleton Clarksville, Tennessee tee. As you can see, it's dated 2000. And then on the front, you have Harley motorcycles and like that tie-dye. One thing that sucks about this one is they want $7 for it. But it is a size XL. It is my size. And then I also found this vintage Hanes Blank for two bucks, but it does have some stains on it. I don't know if they're coming up in camera. So even though these are not like the greatest games in the world, um, I'm kind of tempted to get them just because they're still sealed brand new. But I don't know, two bucks each. We got the Richardson Warriors jersey. That one is a size youth large for five bucks. Jock tag. Unfortunately, the um, like the Warriors logo and the numbers really faded. Here's a pair of these Just Do It Air Forces. Those are a size nine, and they want fifteen dollars for those. Here's a pair of these Jordan Twos. I forget what these are called. Um, they want fifteen bucks for them, but the drag on them is pretty bad. A Sonic the Hedgehog tee, size XL three forty nine. I'm assuming that says Sonic. <laughs> And then here's this really basic uh, Sh Chicago White Sox jersey. It has the Sox logo stitched in, but that's about it. That one's a size XL for $3.99. And then I also found this 1995 NSCA US Open. Um, I guess it's like a shooting competition. I have no idea. But that one's actually single stitched on a Onita tag, size large for $1.49. For $17, I found the Nike Boston Red Sox. Um, Damon jersey number 18. They want 17 bucks for that one. Here's a couple of newer wrestling tees. We got the Dirty Deeds Dean Ambrose, who is now John Moxley in AEW, of course. Here is another one. Dean Unstable Ambrose. And then we got an AJ Styles one. And those are all $1.99 each. Coming down a little bit farther, here's another AJ Styles tee. Uh, XL. That one the price tag fell off, but I'm assuming this is $1.99 too. For $4.99, size large, we got the Eeyore baseball jersey. I thought this one actually looked pretty cool. I like the colorway on it. You got Eeyore right there embroidered with his name. B Stompers Baseball. Nothing on the back, um, but like I said, it's a size large from the Disney store. And then I found this one. I just thought that one was actually uh, kind of funny. We got the A Hug from Idaho. It's a grizzly bear. They want $1.99 a size large. That one's on a Lee tag. And then on the back, you have like his arms, like he's hugging you. <laughs> Here is a uh, Ralph Lauren polo polo shirt. You got the crest right there embroidered on the shirt. Cool colorway, green, blue, um, red and white. That one's a size medium, it's a custom fit. They want seven bucks for this one though. On the back you do have the number three stitched on. Seven bucks, eh, I don't know about that. I was just about to leave and then I came back here and found all these games. Um, we got Resident Evil, Operation Raccoon City. The only thing that sucks is they're all five dollars each. Uh, Dark Souls, Final Fantasy, we got Final Fantasy um, 7, Dirge of Cerberus, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, and 3 on the Wii. Um, the two I know for sure I'm getting is um, 
Devil May Cry Definite Edition, and then Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. I'm not too sure on the rest of them. Uh, there's like Portal 2, but there's also a lot of like junk. I guess I'll look through them and see what else is here. So I think I came in this door at just the right time because I got this stack of games right here. They were like literally at the front door um, and they're all $2.99 each. I have all of these so I won't be keeping them, but my copy of Wind Waker HD is actually the digital copy. So now I got the physical one. And this game right here, super underrated. I know Wii U stuff is not really worth as much as it used to be, but um, these are like eight plus titles. So I'm happy paying $2.99 a piece on them. I got the Vineyard Vines tee right here. So small for $3.99. Still pretty clean. And these are always quick, like $15, $20 tees. All right, so I'm in the same store next day that I found those uh, Sport Blue threes. Um, and then I found these today. These uh, Cool Gray or Wolf Gray, whatever these are called, threes. 30 bucks. I don't think they're from the same person because these are a size 13 and those other ones were an 11 and a half. But yeah, not a lot of people like these. I'm assuming because of that like metallic elephant print on them. $4.99 size XL. I found this Nike pullover windbreaker. It's mostly black, red swoosh, and at the bottom you have like the silver. And on the back you have like the silver stripe running down the middle with the red swoosh. So I found these two Leroy Smith uh, Nike shirts. I thought they were bootleg because there's like no Nike branding on them, but I guess that's just the way they were released. So you see you got Charlie Murphy on this one, and then this one, and this one you got the metallic gold. I was motivated by Leroy Smith. For whatever reason, this one's $3.99, and then the one with Charlie Murphy actually on it is $1.99, so I don't know who's pricing them. <laughs> Check out this uh, bootleg Nike jersey I found in the kids section for $1.99. At least that's what I'm assuming it's supposed to be. It's stuck. $1.99. We got the 2012 Pac-Man <laughs> plush. Uh, I don't know if this is from like the TV show. Yeah, it's from the TV show. Some KD6 Energies, $3.99. Drag is really bad on them though. Found these Nike Dunks. They're a size seven wide. They want $7 for them. It's funny because like a year ago, I wouldn't even like consider getting these. But now the way the dunk market is, I have no idea if I'm gonna get these or not. Here's a couple 360 games. Uh, Fable 2. I've never gotten to the Fable series personally. But I know my brother and a couple of my friends were like real big into it. Uh, Red Dead Redemption. I wish this was the uh, complete version, but it's not. And then GTA 5 on the 360. It's funny because my little cousin, he's like 10. He was telling me he wanted this game and um, <laughs> I don't think his mom's going to let him play it. $1.99 size XL. Here's this little dicky tee. Little dicky down there on the bottom as well. I found this uh, Yellowstone tee. It's not nothing crazy. I just like the print on it. If you look real close, it's like a bunch of animals and it's all over print. That one's an XL for three bucks. I guess the thrifts are catching on that dunks are hyped up because uh, just this tee with the dunks on it, they want 10 bucks for. It's a cool shirt though. Then I also found this vintage uh, airplane tee. You got diamond riddle on the back. And then on the front, you got uh, Fifi. And that one's only two bucks, size XL on a Hanes Fifi tee. Kind of cool, it's like the blueprints for it. I wish they would shut up so you guys can hear me. Here's the GTR. No control for it though. I found these two jerseys. This one is a youth uh, four to seven. What is that, like medium? Um, that one's $2.99. On the back, you got number 24 Callahan. And then the CCM Dallas Stars jersey. This one is actually a men's large. Um, but for whatever reason, they didn't put a price on it. I don't know if they forgot to, <laughs> uh, but that one doesn't have no name on the back. I guess I'll see uh, how much they want for this one. For $2 each, the first thing I found is this Sundog. The vintage sundog tee it's like a tie-dye with a peace sign single stitch i want the size large if it was an xl i'd probably keep it for myself and then i also found this uh grumpy like cut off sleeve t-shirt that one's a size 2xl but both of those are two bucks a piece today anytime i find these crooks and castle tees they always remind me of high school <laughs> we got this one and then behind that one there's this one gucci spizike one of the original colorways of the spizikes this is like the retro from 2017 though they want 15 bucks for those. There was a gray pair right there too that I was gonna show you guys, but um, some lady came by and swooped them. I guess she thought I was gonna get them, so she grabbed them and ran off with them. Some little uh, foam posits right here. Whenever I do pick these up, I never have an issue getting rid of them. They always go pretty quick, but they want 10 bucks for this pair. All right, guys, that's gonna bring us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button, let's me know. Drop a comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another one, so later. I'm a chef, chef too.